What it is, y'all, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Damachi, and I have a big treat for you today at the end of the video. I don't, it's not enough information to really make its own video, uh, but I'm sure you see it in the title. Make sure you hit that th thumbs up if you are excited for that bit of news. If you are as hyped as I am, you gotta smash that thumbs up in this video. We'll talk about that in the, in the end of this video, and we'll cover everything with great detail tomorrow in the Damn Mimo News. Now, for now, let's talk about, kind of leading up to that, uh, what I've been talking about for the past couple of weeks. And I've been telling you guys, do not summon on banners. Save your stones. And I know a lot of people have been, like, you know, chomping at the bit, going, you've been saying save, things ain't been happening. Well, I told you guys, number one, there was going to be a big general pool update. And that just actually happened end of last week. Um... I've been actually meaning to get this video out for that amount of time, but it just worked out that this is going to be great timing for it. So, notice that all the Valentine's units, the uh, the White Day units, basically everything from December until what's live right now that's not time limited has been added to the general pool. So, this is just a lot, a lot of units. I mean, a ton of units. Uh, for example, uh, I counted them all up. I've actually done a whole spreadsheet of every unit. We have now one... 148 adventurers in the game. There are almost twice as many adventurers, four stars, as there are combined two and three stars. Now, and then 80 assists, which I think is still like double that amount, uh, double the, the two and three star pool amount. So there's a ton of units here now, a ton of them. I think 228 in total is the full number that I came out to. So while I said save and wait and hold on to your two and three star tickets, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get a brand new unit. Now, I will say we did a ton of summons on this banner on Saturday night on stream, uh, and we got a bunch of new units. So, uh, officially, let's go in here into the gotcha details. Officially on record, uh, if we go in here, all the unit rates are about 0.013%, even like the really old units. So, if you've been following along, Basically, that means there's a lot of bombs in this uh, in in this ticket summon. But these tickets are incredibly and completely free to play. Now, I know some people are brand new at the game, and I've been getting a lot of questions like, you know, like, we got to summon. We got to get units. Well, my answer has been save for the collab. And it looks like we're going to get collab information tomorrow on the stream. I'll explain that here in just a moment. But... If you really, really, really need a summon for now, uh, Familia Wargame is ending. I mean, that means that we're going to go into Record Buster coming here really, really, really soon. So if you want to prepare for Record Buster, these, this banner is actually a really good banner. Actually, I pulled, I just did the 200 draw, and I got my final Wealth to Maxima break him. I now have Wealth Maxima broken. I've got Lena Maxima broken. Um, I don't have Hestia maxed, but I can, I can do that. I don't really want to go any further because I want to save my free-to-play Iris. Um, I've got her maxed and her maxed and I have like none of, uh, none of Ray. Now, to be fair, when you're in a situation like I'm at, uh, you could summon on these banners, but it is going to be a huge gamble. Odds are pretty good. You're going to get shafted. So for me, it's just not worth. Now, if you're brand new at the game, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get some of these units, but don't go crazy. All right. Mark my words, you are going to be better off saving for what's coming, all right? And I've been saying that for months now, uh, but the reason I was doing that is because we knew that this general pool was going to update. So now, just save your two-star tickets, save your three-star tickets. You can always go in here to ticket validity, and it'll tell you how long these tickets are good for. All these tickets were good for 18 days. So always check this. And hang on to tickets when we haven't had a pool update in quite a bit of time. We can generally bet that it was going to happen. And uh, about two weeks ago, we actually got the notification that it was going to happen. So now you can just go you know, expunge all those tickets and maybe get some of these units. And to be real, these units really, like the, the newer units, really weren't all that groundbreaking or amazing like for the long run they were good for the events we had but when i'm telling you guys should you summon on this that the other thing i'm like thinking like record buster in general war game in general you know all the pvp pve events story events seven zones things like that what are these units gonna be good for 
And the units we've been getting, case in point, the Valentine's units, the White Day units, especially the White Day units, were extremely um, targeted just at the current events. They didn't have a lot of functionality beyond what's coming up. So with that, it's just been my opinion that it was better to save for the collab. Collab units tend to be really, really, really good. Not always, but if it's any indication, like Goblin Slayer only recently kind of fell off the map. Uh, although the Dark Team does still need some serious love, and I'm hoping that we get that with the uh, anniversary. But we still have quite a few units from the uh, last year's collab that are still used uh, all the time. In fact, Katori from the rerun of Data Live is still like a phenomenal top tier physical fire unit. So when it comes to collabs, they tend to go all out. Collabs and anniversaries, you can pretty much bet that the units are gonna be absolutely stellar, absolutely amazing. So now it, I would spend the tickets, but I still wouldn't spend Iris with the exception of maybe these banners if you really wanna go in on the Record Buster's incoming. Every one of these units is gonna be good for the Record Buster, and I did talk about that last week in the Before You Summit video. But I would still save, still save, because like I said, collab units generally keep for a really long time. Last year, uh, when Goblin Slayer dropped, and about six months later we got the anniversary, a lot of people said, that's it, the, the uh, crossover units are dead, and the reality is they still are very functional and very useful. So let's jump in to the little tiny bit of information that we have on the crossover. Okay, we just got this notification today. Uh, this comes straight from the Don Machi Memoria uh, Twitter channel. So if we go over here, and I can't read all that, so I'm going to go ahead and use the old Google Translate here. Translate tweet. That doesn't translate it very well, but from 2100 on 323 Tuesday, the official program Damachi Information Bureau. Remember, that's like going to be tomorrow morning our time. Uh, the 153rd live broadcast. Uh, Finn Roll, a new personality. Uh, Mr. Refreya will appear. I think that's that's Finn's VA. And finally, and that us that usually gives us a good indication. Is that who that is? I have to go. And I'd really have to research that. I didn't research that. Somebody could probably comment in the comment section, but it's usually a good indication of what the crossover is going to be. Usually, the VAs kind of like promote whatever the crossover is going to be, because then um, you know they they work on the other properties, anime or. Data, you know, drama seed or whatever. I guess they don't do drama CDs as much anymore. And finally, new collaboration information is greatly lifted and banned. What I think it's, uh, they're trying to say there, because it's, you know, the grammar is all weird, is I think they're saying that the collab information, uh, uh, basically the ban, the, the, the NDA on that is getting lifted. So we're going to find out what the collab is tomorrow on the, the live stream in the news and it should be like right at the end of the news that's probably be the very last thing they do so tomorrow's news is going to be full of hype information absolutely hype information so that's that guys uh like i said i've been telling you guys to hold on for this moment and i meant it and i was serious about it so i'm expecting probably right after after the april fools event like the second week of april They'll probably, let's see, when is the April 1st? I don't even know, to be honest here. It's the 22nd. So April 1st is on a Thursday. So probably that next Wednesday, not this coming Wednesday, but next Wednesday, I'll probably drop all the April Fool stuff. And maybe a few days later, or even a couple, you know, maybe even by the weekend, they'll start the, um, uh, start the, uh, uh, the collab information. So I would say at the very, very, very latest, April 7th, maybe even sooner than that. So I'm just speculating at this point. We'll find out for sure tomorrow, but that is the news you guys have been waiting for. Now is what you guys have been saving Iris for. So rejoice. It's almost here. Keep holding if you can. If you want to prepare for Record Buster, do that. But remember, minimum 8,000 Iris. And somebody actually corrected me on this. Uh, and the Goblin Slayer, I take that back, was three banners, which would be... 12,000 iris but if you've got eight eight grand right now you'll easily be able to farm up the rest and we'll talk about all that and of course 
Star Bonds are another big commodity. If you guys have been farming the events, you've been farming gnome tickets. If you've been farming gnome tickets, you've been getting Star Bonds. So that's the big update, guys. That's it. Collab incoming. We now we're gonna we're gonna know for sure by this time tomorrow. Like, comment, share. I'll be back at you guys with more Damachi here. Uh I'll be back in the morning with the news. We'll know for sure by then. <laughs>